Hello and welcome to Bits Bytes. Today we are discussing about the pointers. So we already know about the pointer is a special type of data type in which they have a capable to store any memory address in the as as uh, in the variable itself. So let's discuss about we have a memory with the different different uh, memory address that is one zero zero one one zero zero two and one zero zero three and so on. So if we are creating a one integer type of variable like abc that value is 10 that is stored in somewhere right so that is stored in one memory let's see compiler gives the memory allocate the memory that is the memory address is 1006 please keep in mind the address of abc is 1006 let's create a one integer pointer in which we have allocate a new memory address for the integer pointer in which we are storing the address of abc so the address of abc is 1006 so indirectly we are pointed out the value 10 that is a reference purpose pointer is nothing but we are using for the reference pros perspective in golang we have a different type of pointers there, there is a one integer type of pointer you can create a user defined data type pointers also and also we have a one special type of pointer that is a functional pointer let's suppose we have a one function that is a main function it is all also allocate one some memory in the memory space so in the disk we have allocated a one memory that is a 1001 so the function is stored in the address of 1001 now we have created a one function that is the function pointer it also allocate a new memory in the memory allocation that is a 1002 that compilers allocated a one memory that is a 1002 now we are storing the function main function in in the function pointer so instead of uh, storing the main function we are if we have uh, storing the address of the main function that is a 1001 now we need to discuss it in practically so we are conclude our theory point key what is the point we already know about in the theory way now we should know about how to implement in our go language okay so there is a one package need to create it package main i created then again i need to import one statement that is a fmt statement for the printing purpose okay there is a one function i created that is a main function inside that function what I want I want a one pointer but before that what we need is we need a one variable that holds some memory address okay so let's create a one variable where a abc int 64 that is my data type okay and initialize with the 100 okay that is correct that is perfectly work okay let's see print it is working or not print ln that is abc that's it that's our small program for printing the value of abc converted into give me a second okay it is left side it should be right right So there is a panel and the file name is a pointers okay go run pointers.com okay there is no file with go run pointers.com now it is okay it's print hundred so that is a value of abc now we need a pointer variable that holds the address of abc okay so first we need to print the address of abc what is it where a integer pointer I will save like this okay there is a pointer of int 64 that holds the address of ampersand abc hope it is clear that and symbol we are telling and or ampersand okay this is our symbol that helps to uh, getting the detail of 
address of memory memory address of the variable that holds by any variable of memory set okay. now we need to fmt dot print ln integer pointer just try print the point okay i'm not using anything but the value of integer pointer and the value of this should be same because we are initializing the same thing go run pointers.co it exactly same but it is not common readable form right because the our memory address is in the hexadecimal format we will discuss later what is the there is a different types of uh, uh, data uh, different types of number systems in the computer uh, line or the computers that is a four types of uh, system one is a, a binary second is a octal third is a decimal fourth one is a hexadecimal so what is the difference between this this is another concept so we can discuss later on about this in another series so this is same now if i change the value of integer pointer okay if i want to print the uh, instead of getting the address if i want to print the what is the value hold by that memory allocation that holds by the integer pointer so this is a way we have used the asterisk symbol for that okay run pointers.com here we go so it prints 100 now what it's mean it's go uh, as we know our theory so it pointed to the good it goes to this memory allocation access that memory allocation by the compiler and then it uh, get the data of what it is stored in that particular memory allocation okay if why we are using pointers as we know about in theory session if we are changing in the value of the integer pointer it will reflect automatically the main memory also okay so if i just change the and now i am not printing the integer pointer now i am printing the abc value of abc so it will change to the 200 but what we did is we did change in the integer through the integer pointer instead of direct we are not directly accessing the abc we are indirectly access that memory that is a one way and the uh, most important thing is the data type should be same for the holding the address okay that's the one way okay the another thing is another thing is we need to hold the address of any functions as well so if i create a function print details it's just print the hello okay hello okay so what kind of Integer point, uh, what kind of pointer we required is there is a function pointer that is pointer okay that is a function pointer pointing of the func okay. that is a pointing to the func and how can I hold that through the uh, that is a print details right print details okay now it's holds also let's check it have a memory allocations or not Okay, so ampers it will not require function pointers. Save it and okay. Right, let's check it. Go run. Pointers. Go. 
syntax error line number 15 because it should be like this of print details value of the type function see we can't telling that functions because uh, we're not fetching the functions address or cannot take the address of the function because it's uh, the functions getting memory on the heap when they are running otherwise they are dumb okay so instead of that we can use function point of a calling directly we not need to do that okay we can't print it that's why i'm saying that key for the theory point we are telling uh, we are telling to you guys key each functions holds the memory right but when it is old now you are understood right we can't print the address of any function take address of known function of pointers okay so it can't be okay it is like this this may be some sort of mistakes I did sorry for that cannot use point okay so it is a type of not a pointer function it is a type of this it is automatically holds the address actually directly prints so this uh, function pointers basically holds the address of uh, holds the entire detail or kept the detail of the function pointer we can't print any okay so if you let's try again can we print the function pointer address this type of variable is totally different from our see now it's print right because we are using that also and this variable this type of variable holds some memory right and that memory holds by and what kind of data it's save inside it this entire function is saved in this memory okay so we can create now function pointer also and that is a function if you see if I just change it to this because directly we are not pointed that okay and enter pointer function equal to ampersand function okay and now instead of that we can use function pointer working perfectly right so what is the issue before the issue is we are trying to directly assign the uh, address of our function that is not in not even initialized right that is not get any memory once we created the variable that type of function so it holds some memory in the memory in the uh, RAM in our RAM okay and then we are holding that variable address in our function pointer so it's working fine if we if i just do this way right so it's also working fine okay there is an error in the 17th
I am waiting. What is the error? Invalid operation cannot call non function function pointer variable type pointer function. Okay, because it is a pointer function, so we need to put a pointer. Or not like that, actually, it should be like this. Number 18 directory used as a value. I'll show you each and every error because it's good to know how can we solve these errors also. Cannot call non function pointer, it is a pointer function because it is a pointer function. So that helps to hold the address. Again, invalid operation cannot perform function pointer variable of type pointer function. So we can't call it. Hope you understood now. Okay. What is the use of holding the address of our function and calling this? Suppose there is a 10 functions is required in the variable. So I just need to create an array of this and, and the address of 0, there is a one function. And then so we can hold our uh, we can initialize the memory of each functions if we want also that is the exceptional case in which we required the memories okay but it is good to know that this kind of functionality is also exist in our go language thank you for watching my video and don't forget about like subscribe and share and also there is a comment section please comment about our videos if you want more changes in our videos, let me.